subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wasi here and today we are going to unbox the TP-Link Tapo Wi-Fi PTZ camera. So let's begin the unboxing video. So here is the box. So this is made by TP-Link. The name is Tapo Smart uh, Camera. So it is a pan tilt zoom camera. So this is an indoor camera and not an outdoor camera. So here we got some of its specs. It supports motion detection and will give you notification. It has night vision up to 30 feet. It can record at 1080p high definition. It supports micro SD card up to 128GB to store the recordings. So here you can see it's work, work with Google Assistant and Alexa and the model is Tapo C200. On the side we got its model number again. So it has 360 degree horizontal video definition is 1080p as I told you. We got two way audio meaning that it has a microphone as well as a speaker. So you can have two way audio using the Tapo app. Here is the barcode which we can scan and download the app. I will put this apps link in the video description as well just for your easiness wireless protocols so the package contents we have the tapo camera we got its power adopters quick start guide mounting screws mounting template and a camera base so six things are included micro sd card is not included we need to buy it separately so it's telling the major features again which we have already seen so we're not going to see it so it will have live view which is the main advantage of having these kind of cameras but in the past I have showed you how you can enable live view on high vision cameras as well. If you are interested a box will appear right up and I will also put its link in the video description as well. Anyways the box is sealed packed so let's open it. Here we go so the box is i think going to open from the side if i'm right yep it's going to open from the side and here we have a little tray containing all the contents here we go so putting that aside here we have our charger with a pretty good length of a cable which i like it because mostly you don't have power supply sockets near the camera so it's really good that it has a pretty good length of a cable so here we have our power adapter so its output is 9 volt putting that aside here we got our mounting plate and our mounting screws and rubble plug as well and last but not least our tapo camera the thing that it's missing is the quick start guide i don't know why oh here it is sorry should have seen the box much better anyways here we also have our quick start guide you can read it if you want but i'm going to show you how you can set up the camera here we have a little mounting sticker to help us to know where we need to drill the screws here we have general public license note and mounting instructions so i recommend that you read this one because it's going to hard for me to show this in the video and here is the camera itself here it is as you can see a uh, tapo on the front side here we have the little camera uh, nothing too much here we have the speaker so you can see that the speaker is open that's why it's used for indoor and not outdoor because of water here we have our power supply socket here on the bottom the plate will come here and rotate it uh, this plate let me just show you so what you're going to do is that you're going to mount this plate using these two screws let's say on the wall like this and then you're going to put this camera from the bottom you're going to place it and then you're simply going to rotate it you're going to rotate it and it's going to stuck in its place like this anyways i'm just going to remove it so first of all this was just the unboxing video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to install the tapo app on my android phone the process will be same for ios so i will put the download link for the app in the video description so i'll be right back once i download the app so the app has been downloaded on the phone so first of all i'm just going to power on the camera 
I have I'm going to plug in the power cable and the other end is connected to the wall plug so I'm just going to place it here and let me plug the charger to the wall so here you can see a red power light just above the lens so now what we're going to do is that we're going to open the Tapo app here it is so you need to agree to the privacy of terms and use so first of all you need to make a password so if you don't have a password you can press on it you need to enter your email password and then you can just make an account so i'm just going to make account and you can select your country from the top right as well so i'll be back once i sign up for an account and you can see that the camera is rotating so it's going to check its motors So here you can see on the camera we got a red and green light blinking meaning that it needs to be connected to the app and here I have signed up to the app so what you're going to do is you're going to press on the center where it says tap plus to add your device so our model was Tapo C200 we're going to select this one so it's going to say to check if the light is blinking or not so it is blinking red and green we're going to press on next we need to enable location so allow while using the app enable wi-fi so we're going to enable wi-fi as well it's going to scan for your wi-fi network so wi-fi is necessary to set up the tapo camera okay next we're going to press on connect so it's going to actually connect with the hotspot of your tapo camera so it has found your device and now it's going to configure it so it's saying that we need to choose a network on which our Tapo camera will work. So I'm just here on the studio. So that's why the first Wi-Fi signal is very strong. But I know I'm going to use it somewhere else where this signal will be strong. So I'm going to use select this network. And I'm going to enter the Wi-Fi password of your, of my network. Your may be different. So let me just type it. We're going to press on next. It's going to show the password and the network name. We're going to press on next. So now it's going to connect to our Wi-Fi network so that we can live view it later and from anywhere in the world. Connecting to Wi-Fi. As you can see, the speaker just opened saying connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. So here it says we need to go to our phone settings and we need to connect to the following network in which we just added the password. So in my case, it was Jazz. In your case, it may be different. So you need to connect to that particular Wi-Fi. We're going to connection, so it's currently connected to Zong. We're going to find Jazz and then we're going to connect it to that one. So here you're going to have the name of your camera. So the one thing that you need to make sure is that your phone and your Tapo camera are connected to the same Wi-Fi as in the previous page it showed uh, my home's different Wi-Fi. So if I'm connecting this camera to Jazz, so I need to have this phone connected to Jazz as well while setting up. After that, it won't matter, so you can give this camera a name. So I'm just going to let it to be the default name and I'm going to press on next. So you can select where you want it to be, like bedroom or etc. So in my case, it's an office. We're going to press on next and now it's going to configure. So we're complete, got it. So I'm not going to use it with any voice controllers now. And here it is, so let's live view it. So here you can view what the camera is showing. So we can use these controls to move up. As you can see, the camera is moving up as well. We can rotate it as well. So in this way, you can live view this camera, the tap TP-Link Tapo Wi-Fi camera. So guys, in this, this was the unboxing video and setup video of the TP-Link tapo camera if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of question regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe